Hi folks, this is Anne with an anagram on how to get started on this week's Task C Draw Line of Circles. Uh, I think I'm going to break my advice for this exercise into at least two videos. This first one should be pretty short. I just want to talk about getting started with a new project, um, some things to do, some things that um, that good practice could cause problems um, for you down the road, but it's worth getting through those few problems so that you have nice clean code to start with. So um, just as you recall, task C is a task of simply trying to draw five equal sized touching circles across the width of your canvas. But the important point is not to guess and check, but to use a for loop and to change the center X location of each circle um, as a function of I the loop index and R the circle radius. And you have to calculate that radius because depending on how big your canvas is, you want your circles to be bigger or smaller. But that's not what this uh, video is about. This video is basically about just starting any project. Um, so I have a week 11 folder um, in your extended tree is going to look different than mine because I have different sections. But I've created a folder called circles and unfortunately it's empty. And um, there's really nothing more scary than an empty circle, empty folder or an empty file. Um, but by this point in the course, you really don't have nothing to work from. What you almost always have is something to start with, and it's a question of um, modifying that as you go along. So, um, so for example, um, the slides say, borrow your week 10 code. And in week 10, if you recall, we create a page um, that, that you used for flag drawing, and it could draw any number of shapes. So what I would do is be somewhat indiscriminate and simply shift, highlight all of these and copy them. Whatever you do, don't cut them out of there because I have to grade them. Move them to the folder where you want to work with them and simply paste them. Okay, so now you don't have no code. What you have is too much code. And um, I think it's, it's worth trying to be neat and clean about this. You're going to do an exercise um, that draws a circle. So let's just go here. And um, the trick is to get rid of this code you don't need and keep some code that you do need that gets you started. So for example, the flag of Japan, we don't care about drawing rectangles. So let's get rid of that code. Okay, but we do take care about drawing a circle. So let's leave that code in here for now and get rid of everything else in this, fun in this function. Um, so now we have a nice neat little uh, file, which simply should draw one red circle on the canvas and don't worry too much about the location right now. Um, we have a circle constructor, which should work. We tested it before in our previous project. And we want, we don't need rectangle, shape, or triangle. So before you do this, make sure you're in your week 11 folder and that you're not deleting the files that I need to grade. But go ahead and just delete those. Um, fewer files makes it, makes fewer things to get confused about. So let's go ahead and delete those from our week 11 circles folder. And now we have just the code we need. Um, CSS, which I gave you, circle, which you're basically going to work with, this nice little neat new draw JS that should draw one thing, and um, point, which enables circle. So if we go back to index and we run it, and I open that, And I'll have to, it looks like I'll have to, why does that say 10? Because I'm looking at the wrong file. <laughs> See, this is the kind of thing that can trip you up. So if you notice, um, let me just go back and do that again. Um, if I run that, and I open it, I think, What's so strange about that? Because after all, that's my week 10 file. So, um, 
but it does in fact say that I'm running week 10. So what's happening here is that I have my week 10 index.html open, so I'm just gonna close all of these files and hope that I change the circle that's in here. Oh, I'm sorry, that I changed the draw that's in here. So I did change the right file, but when I went to run, I was running the index.html from the other folder. So let me try that again. Run this file. Okay, now we see that we're running the week 11 copy. If we open it up, okay, we have a red circle. So then let's just make sure that we have, that everything's working right. Let's do an inspect, look at console. And we're seeing a bunch of console errors. Um, and they're actually pretty simple. It says we couldn't load triangle, shape, rectangle, that kind of stuff. And we didn't want those. So let's go back and figure out what's trying to run them. And it's this code down here. So I got rid of rectangle, triangle, and shape in my folder. And I simply need to remove the request for those code from my index.html and save it, okay? And I now have code that draws a red circle. And that's really all there is about this. Um, I think the, the thing I wanna, I wanna urge you to do is in your, in your library, in your workspace, you have copies of a lot of code. And, and you no longer have only the internet or the book to refer back to. You know, your code that you've written, solutions I've given you, are even starting code I've given you, are all resources that you have available. And when you need to do something new, um, you can either remember what week it's in, or for example, um, in this solutions folder that I have, which is probably as close to your workspaces as my code gets. If I was, for example, looking for it, some code to remember how we make random colors or random, random choices out of an array, I would come here and do a find in files and look for the word random. And then I'd find, let me pull this up here so we can see more of it. Okay, I can see that I have a whole lot of samples of my own code about looking for random. And um, real developers very rarely start with a blank file. They almost always take an old file of their own, they take starter code from the web, um, something and and reduce it clean it out you don't want a lot of cruft to go from week to week but they start with something and then they make sure it works and then they start changing it so that's my advice for you guys too